This week we're going to be creating some modular signs. Should be a lot of fun. All right, so we're going to start out first by making our post. We're going to cut it at the two inch mark. Make it two inches tall. Because, well, it seems to be about the right height, don't you think? So I'm doing this with a pretty large uh, square dowel. And uh, now I'm going to cut it with... Marked it at two inches. Now I'm going to cut it with... Uh, okay, maybe... Maybe I'm not going to cut it with, with my X-Acto knife. Come on. Come on. Ah, I don't want to break it, because... Just c cut. All right, fine. I'm going to use these Westcott scissors. They'll just go through it, just like... Come on! There we go. Okay, now that I got it cut, I'm going to whittle it down to a little bit smaller shape. This is going to look out of scale, I think, if I just leave it the way it is. So I'm using uh, my pocket knife because it was just laying there. And then uh, yeah, turn back over to the X-Acto knife a little bit. Finer cuts. Shave it down. And it's going to make it look like it's a, you know, a rough hewn post now for the sign part I just eyeball it here again with my scissors I stole these from my wife Shh, don't tell her okay that's pretty good but let's add some accents to it you know how those signs will point in the direction that you should go for you know whatever town is on the uh, sign like Smallville this way. Uh, Springfield. That other way. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make these into little pointy signs. A technical term. There we go. Now, let's see. What we got here. Got a nice little sign. Put that down. It'll go right just like that. It's shaping up pretty good so far. Okay, uh, this is what it looks like up close. As if you couldn't see it all the way down there at the bottom. But, I mean, this gets you a better view of it. So now I'm going to cut out a second one, because I want two of these on the signpost. And I want them to be the same size. So, I'm just going to line it up and mark it at the tip there. And then I'll cut that off. This time I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. Okay, or maybe I'll just use my scissors. Maybe the X-Acto knife needs another blade. I go through blades pretty fast. Here I'm going to cut the arrow in. I'm going to cut the arrow in. I'm going to force a cut. So I cut the arrow in. There we go. Why was that one so easy and the other one was so hard? I don't know. Okay, so now I got two of these. You know, I think it's time for painting. Now you can paint these any color you want. Red, blue, green, brown, purple. Well, maybe not purple. Okay, well, for all those people out there like purple, you can paint purple if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. I'm using burnt umber. go. I'm just going to paint the whole post. Now paint the other side. Mm, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. All done. And all done. And now the little sign post, or the little sign, uh, we did the sign post. This is the uh, little sign thingy. Uh, the back side of it. Just doing a little quick thing here. Because this is really like a testing ground. So I'm just trying this out to see if it works. I have an idea. Trying it out. So now I'm going to do some different bases and stuff. Now the idea here is. I 
I'll cut these bases out, and I'll make three different types of bases. And uh, then I'll fix it to where you can swap the signs between the bases. Clever, eh? Now, first step here is I gotta cut all these bases out. And I don't have to be exact here, because uh, I'll clean them up after. Almost done, almost done. I'm so fast, look at that. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to actually bevel this out a little bit here, so it's not a hard to drop down to the table. And just uh, use my little exacto knife. This is the same blade too. I mean, it's doing an okay job here. I mean, granted, you know, chipboard's not wood, but I'm starting to think it's me. There we go. Now I've got that. I'm going to get a magnet and set that off to the side. See that little tiny itty bitty magnet? And then I'm going to spread some PVA glue. A little bit of Elmer's glue all over this thing. And I'm going to drop the magnet right in the middle. Use my pencil because, well, my pencil doesn't have glue on it. I don't know what to do. So, oh, <laughs> poured a little bit too much on there. But it's a test. It'll be fine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 a little bit more green stuff. See the magnet in the middle there? Perfect. Now, uh, I'm going to add a couple of rocks or something in here to sort of break up that green. Looks like a... Looks like the green on like a three-par or something. There... There, there, and there. Whoop. Put sand. Now I'm using some super glue to glue on the individual little sign thingies. There we go. Look at that. Perfection. I just hold it on here for a little bit to make sure it sticks really well. I don't have to hold it terribly long. I mean, I probably already held it a little bit too long. And then you just put a magnet on the bottom of the post. And you can clip it on there anytime you want. So what I have basically is a magnet on the base. And a corresponding magnet on the bottom of the post. And watch this. Pop up. And then just pop it back down. Pretty cool, eh? And then I just made a couple other bases with, uh, this one has a little bit more rock on it. Decided to put a little bit more glue in there. I don't know why I do things in threes. Must be a monkey brain reason for doing that. A little bit of green on there and, eh. Smush it down. Smush it down. Get that flocking off of there. And now I have another piece. Now one thing I like to do is uh, protect these. So I'll coat the underside of them with uh, some Mod Podge. And I also think this helps uh, keep it from curling up a little bit, which you'll have with that PVA glue. When it dries, it sort of scrunches up the uh, chipboard. You can see it right here. This is one that I don't think I've gotten the uh, Mod Podge on. You can see how it sort of curls up there. It doesn't set flat. And there's a different signpost I made. I made it several different signposts and several different bases. And I think all in all, it turned out pretty good. Here's another little signpost. This is the first one I made. And you can make, you know, three or four different signposts and a dozen signposts, a dozen different bases. You can swap them out however you like. Just like that. Bam. So it's been a really fun video. I think this is a pretty good idea. I'm sure somebody else out there has thought of this. I've seen a couple of videos here recently after I started this video where they were doing similar things for uh, items on tables and, and other locations um, on maps and stuff. So uh, it's not a unique idea, but, you know, I think it's a fun one, and uh, just give it a try. See what you uh, 
like about it, what you don't like about it, and uh, let me know. And that's all for this week's episode of Tabletop That. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, comments down below, subscribe if you're not, and hit the little bell for notifications. Until next week, have fun and keep crafting.